this is how you keep your girl on go. You keep her on waterfall for you to the point where you might have to change her name in your context to Aquafina. What's good with y'all, man? Guys, listen up, bro. This is how you keep your girl super soaked, okay? And then you're going to be super soaking her type stuff. This is how you keep your girl hot, heated, and ready for you at all times. First and foremost, fellas, we need to discuss your energy because Billy, Bob, Joe, Randy, they want to come up in here with this platonic, nerdy energy that get pussy dry. You need to come through with spectacular energy, guys. Every single time you pull up on a chick, I don't care if it's a date, your first time linking with her, especially, okay? You need to make sure that what you're communicating to her, hey, bitch, you lucky to be with me. Not only that, you're going to have a good time with me, okay? You're going to have an amazing time with me every single time. That needs to be the energy you communicate to her. Now, let's get to what we going to do between them legs, okay? When you are dealing with your chick, you want to make sure, guys, that you can multitask. Let me say this again. You need to be able to multitask. Something that's going to elevate your bedroom game right now. This is going to elevate your shit to the next level. Pete this. First off, fellas, foreplay is a must. You got to be playing with the coochie. You got to be warming it up. First and foremost, you got to get in the habit of making sure that as soon as you step into the bedroom, she's already thinking in her head, oh, it's already finna go down because every time we get to this point, he already up on it. The anticipation, right, is really what gets women aroused to begin with. That's why you want to communicate that with your energy. But guys, the foreplay is going to make sure it's an oven down there. Okay, you want her trying to melt your shit. You know what I mean? It should be feeling like it's a furnace in there. No cap. Every single, that's how you know your girl is just, she really turned on by you. She just, like, you just do it for her. You want to be the kind of guy that does it for her. All right. And in times where you in a relationship and stuff and guys be like, oh, the spark is gone. The pussy is like the desert, man. I ain't bring no sand to the where all the sand come from. It's like, bro, you are boring. You ain't switching shit up. You're not multitasking. Your foreplay game is probably trash. You're not trying to multitask. You're not trying to add anything different or new. See, the multitasking is you using your hands in different places during the foreplay action, right? During the smashing. When you go through this process, guys, you want to make sure her mind is everywhere. One thing women are good at is multitasking. Okay, bet. You are going to use that to your advantage on her body, okay? So when you are going through the foreplay, okay, you're going through the kissing and stuff, you need to be squeezing butt cheeks. You know what I'm saying? You need to be grabbing some ass. You need a handful of cheeks every time you start making out with the girl. Any chick to tell you she don't like that, Every woman likes that from the guy that she's with. Every woman likes that from the guy that she finds attractive, okay? They like that stuff. They only tell that to the guys that are weird. They tell that to the guys that are, they ain't got no kind of cooth about them. They ain't got no kind of just swag about them. So they tell those guys, oh, no, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. This dude could pull up with a whack-ass line, right? One of the, oh, what's your best pickup line? One of these guys will actually use pickup lines and turn the bitch off. And she'll be like, oh, I can't stand pickup lines. But let a dude she finds attractive pull up with the same line. Doesn't change anything about it. She just finds him more appealing. Boom, it's the same shit, right? So right then and there, you know not to, first off, listen to what the hell women are telling you. You need to listen to her body. You need to be listening to her body. Don't be listening to this. Obviously, with the consent. Obviously, after you've already, I'm not speaking for a random stranger just pulling up on the chair. Oh, your body telling me that you want me. No, 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 no. We're not on that stuff, bro. Don't. So don't even try to come in a conversation with that bullshit. No, 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 no. Obviously consented. But what I'm saying is you need to be listening to the body because you can't trust what she says. She wants you to be the nicest guy ever. Guess what? The nicest guy ever that buys her the bouquet of flowers that gets her the edible arrangements with the fruit. And she like, oh, I love the fruit because the grape be in the middle of the pineapple and the pineapple shaped like a flower. And that's cute. I'll make sure to share this with my work husband when he's clapping me in the break room. But I'll be thinking of you. Like, what the hell kind of book? Don't be listening to them. When you get her, when you with your girl, 
I need you to be multitasking. I need you to be making sure her attention is drawn to all places. And you do that by making sure you caressing each and every part of her body. G shit, bro. You need to make sure you doing that really at any time. It don't even got to be the foreplay because you could just be pulling up to the girl and kissing her real quick. Kiss her and also squeeze the cheek at the same time, right? I like to do things like that because women like to have their senses everywhere. You know what I'm saying? For extended periods of time. As long as their mind gets going, right? You keep their mind going and their mind focus on different things. That keeps them fulfilled. Now, some of you guys don't give a damn about satisfying women. That's fine. You can just pull up, bust cheeks down and dip. Right. You can kick him to the side of the road if you want. I, Hey, I, on the other hand, OK, I first off, I kind of got to have a reputation to keep up, because if not, if I'm not doing my due diligence, dropping dick off, then what the hell did I make that damn video for? Dropping dick off indefinitely. I am indefinitely destroying guts. OK, that's what I like to do. And that ain't no simping. That's just because I like the reactions of women, because that confirms I'm that dude. They hitting you back. That confirms you're that dude. If after the first time you spent, so peep this, I get this question a lot from guys when I have conversations with brothers. And if you need game planning and this stuff, link in description, okay? MJGetRight.com, book a conversation with me if you need game planning strategy, anything, relationship, troubles, talk to me and I'm gonna get you right. I digress. Guys will sit here and tell me, oh bro, I linked with her the first night, it was great. Now what do I do? Right. It's been a couple days. She hasn't hit me up. Should I reach out to her? Should I not? This is what you do. Listen, she should be the one initiating. She will be the one initiating. You know why? Because she will be super soaked for you. She will be hot, heavy, ready for you the next time. And she will initiate. OK, I want to see you again. She going to let you know when she wants to see you. She will let you know when she wants to see you again. And you don't got to say nothing. All you do is chill. That's how you know you efficiently plugged her. You efficiently dropped dick off because after that first link, you're like, oh, I don't know if it was good. And I don't know if I did a good job. Was I multitasking in a foreplay? Did I make sure that did I did I fulfill that? Did, was the waterfall gushing? And what, bro, you won't have to question that if she's the one putting out more effort. That's how you know. You did a good job dropping dick off. That's how you know you did a good job making sure that in the bedroom, she was fulfilled. At the very least, more so than the most of these guys. All you want to do, guys, is really be better than most. And then that'll put you in the field of you having your dick, right, in express demand. That's what you want. You want your dick in express demand. That way, when other girls look at you, they're like, okay, I know. I know that man is dropping dick. That man is dropping dick off. For real, for real. I know he's slinging a good Johnson. I wonder what it's like. She telling her friends about you. Now you wonder why her friends is looking at you the way they looking. They looking at you like that. First off, because women can't shut the hell up. They couldn't keep good dick to themselves for, for the life of them. If they would just shut the hell up, they'd be all right. They wouldn't get cheated on or nothing. But they finally grabbed that guy, that top 20% guy, that top 15, 10% guy, and now they want to show him off to all their friends. What do you think is going to happen? Now all these other coochies is getting soaked for you. Now all these other coochies is like, well, I want to waterfall on him too. I want to be awkward. I want to design this nigga. I want to be on that. Like, see, that's how it happens. That's how it happens. You improve your game so much when you get with your hands, right? So make sure you caress in their body, bro. Make sure you entertain in different parts of their body. You get them in that notion every single time, guys. While you kissing them, okay? While you start playing with the box, why you doing it? Why you doing that? When you're going through this process and doing that, now I got to keep this a little PG because obviously, right? On the Patreon, I got way more on there. I got way more game, way more advanced game on Patreon. So go to that and it'll be more unfiltered. If you wonder and questioning why I'm kind of censoring this, don't eat. Okay. Now you know, but I digress. You make sure you're doing this, guys. It just hits on different spectrums for the woman, which makes her desire you more, makes her want you more. Now, every time she's thinking about you while time apart, she even gets wet right? She gets gushing for you and it's for you, right? I don't even got to ask the chicks. I'll be dealing with like in the meantime, what they'd be thinking about because they'll be like, oh, I'm horny. I'm thinking about you and stuff like that. And I'll be like, 
okay, you know, when I pull up, when, when I'm ready to pull up and we can link up and stuff and we'll be chilling and stuff. And I'd be like, okay, so what you be doing when you, you know what I'm saying? When, when you get th those feelings about me, when you think about me, and this is what they're going to tell you. Oh, well, I think about you being inside of me. I think about your Johnson. I think about this. I think about when you do this and then I just grab my toy. That's what they'll say. Thinking about you, thinking about how efficiently you were in the bedroom. In my opinion, you want to repeat this kind of efficient dicking down process. And that's the whole process, guys, including the foreplay, including like any action of physical. And you want to make sure you are passionate in everything that you do with them. So, you know, repeat that a few times, the first few times. All they're going to have in their mind is that when I see him, this is the feeling I get from him. So every time I think about him, I'm already on waterfall. I'm already a tsunami for this nigga. Like, that's how you want a chick thinking about you, fantasizing about you. And obviously everything else comes with that. Like, you talk about a woman thinking about you nonstop. A woman craving you, desiring you. You being irresistible. Get that shit on point, bro. I'm telling you. And let your body be on point while you're doing that. You take off your shirt. She just over here. She, she touching on you while you touching on her. That's even more multitasking. You know what I'm saying? Your body game could get them hot and heated already. But you take that shit to the next level, right? And if you don't have the body game, then get the body game. You might be good with your hands. You could be good at pleasing women, but your body game, you want to take it to the next level, then get the body game. She'll be touching on you. That's that's a whole nother level. That's a whole nother level of joy for her. Because now she touching on you. She like, damn, this, this man body is so on point. Oh my goodness. And you over here touching on her. Now multitasking stimulation to the max. That's what they want. That's what they desire. That's pretty much the process of making sure you are DDO efficient. You will be in express demand because your name, your face, whenever that's on her mind, it's always associated with waves, waterfalls, tsunamis, Aquafina. You're going to have to change that bitch name to Aquafina. I didn't already nicknamed one of my girls that. And then I'll just think of different bottles of water and shit. Dasani over here, Zephyr Hills over here, right? Just think of any type of spring water, you, whatever. You're going to have to nickname some of these girls for the way that they feel about you. Because when they see you, they're already pulling up. They already ready. They already ready for you. You talk about moving efficiently, dropping dick off indefinitely. That's what we do.